Hey everyone, I hope you're having a great day today, I know I am, and we potentially have some rather sad Dragon Age uh, Dreadwolf as well as the next Mass Effect news, so let's get straight into it. Lockhart QT. So I was scrolling through Twitter today and I essentially saw that Shinobi had posted EA's lineup of games for the physical year being 2024, which is essentially April this year to March next year. And he noted that this actually doesn't include any unannounced titles. So does Mass Effect fall into that category? I'll discuss in a moment. So as you can see here, we've got games such as the new EA Sports FC, which is essentially FIFA, uh, Sims, Apex Legends, Madden. Uh, the new F1 because EA now hold the rights to that, Jedi Survivor, those sort of games. and But there are two notable omissions here, as you probably already guessed, being Dragon Age Dreadwolf and the next Mass Effect. Now, this is really worrying for me because I was hoping that we would not only get an announcement of a Dragon Age this year, but we would also get a release because I've got to be honest, the sooner they release Dragon Age means the sooner that they'll release Mass Effect. And although I'm not telling EA and Bioware to rush both games, no, 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 please let them cook. But at the same time, I just really, really want more news on these games, especially as a content creator, but more as a fan. I just really want to see the next Mass Effect and Dragon Age games. Now obviously if you guys remember back in, oh god I want to say it was last year at some point, we had some Dragon Age leaks. Uh, actually I think it might have been January or February this year but hey ho. Uh, yeah we had some Dragon Age gameplay leaks and essentially when it was somebody playing the game and it was real, it was proven real on several accounts. And you know at that point I kind of thought oh Dragon Age may be coming out a bit sooner perhaps maybe like late 2023 early sort of spring 2024 now I'm not ruling out the possibility this physical sort of earnings report and their lined up of games is mainly just to show investors what they've got what what's already come out this year and then what's coming out slowly through the pipeline uh, because, you know, games like, I imagine, Jedi Survivor could have DLC, plus you've got, you know, EA Sports FC, Apex Legends, F1, um, the, the, you know, their the sports games that are going to make them loads of money because they're live services. So it's really interesting to see where Dragon Age and Mass Effect fall into this. Personally, I'd love to just have a trailer dropped for one of them. I do think we'll get a Dragon Age trailer either at the uh, Summer of Gaming... Uh, I think it's Summer Games Fest, isn't it, hosted by the Game Awards and Jeff Keighley. I do think we'll, I, if we don't get it there, I think we'll definitely get it at the Game Awards in December. At the same time, I think Mass Effect is a ways off now. This has really just put the nail in the coffin for that. Uh, as a Mass Effect 4 news YouTube channel and gaming YouTube channel, this is a bit uh, oof for me, but hey ho. It's it's kind of like if you guys remember Kingdom Hearts 3 had like it got announced all the way back in like 2013, and I don't think it released until I think it was 2019, which is pretty bizarre. Was it 2018? I can't remember, but. For, for me, it, it, it's it's that similar situation where obviously Mass Effect and Dragon Age both got revealed at 2020 at the Game Awards, and I personally don't think we'll see Dragon Age until 2025 and then Mass Effect until 2026, 2027 now that I'm hearing uh, this. I've also seen a few other reports basically suggesting that Dragon Age, they're just not ready to show it, then it's just not at a stage where they're ready to show it. And I completely get that, you know, at the end of the day, I don't want Bioware to show a sort of rushed half-baked project because they have to and they feel pressure that they have to at the end of the day my message to ea and bioware is just don't rush this do not rush this they cannot afford to as a studio because if you look at obviously their past track record especially with bioware it was anthem and andromeda don't get me wrong i actually really liked mass effect andromeda but i completely understand the hate it gets you know it was rushed out the door it was it had loads of cut content it was just buggy at release plus it just wasn't as good as mass effect 1 2 and 3 which is you know understandable but at the same time you know i think it tried i think they tried to do too much in andromeda because at one point in development they actually had i think it was procedurally generated planets and things like that sort of like no man's sky which obviously just killed the game because ea wanted it out basically asap and they just couldn't do it so they just rushed it out and it ended up being like that whereas anthem was a similar story it just got chucked out the door when it was 
wasn't ready. Uh, Anthem was a different story more because it didn't have any content really and it's sort of, you know, for a live service that's the whole point of the game, it's meant to have a steady stream of content. And it's a shame we never got Anthem 2.0 because I, I do think there was promise there, especially with the you know the actual sort of exploration and the you know flying through the air force was brilliant. But anyway, I've gone on a mad tangent here. But Dragon Age, I do think we will get something this year, whether it be a gameplay trailer or what. I do think we'll have the sort of main protagonist revealed. And I do think it will will get a bit of marketing in 2024, and then I'm hoping it comes out next year. Uh, again, this sort of still opens up the possibility that the next Dragon Age game could release sometime after March in 2024, though we'll have to wait and see. As for Mass Effect, things are looking really bleak at the moment. I, again, it's really hard to make um, these sort of videos on Mass Effect because there is just no news. It's literally a barren wasteland at this point. But hey ho, hopefully at some point Bioware and EA show was something and when the time comes i'll be straight on it don't you worry but don't get don't get me wrong i'm, I'm still liking you know i'm still going to do mass effect law video speculation and all the rest of it but hopefully we do get to see something soon Anyway guys, tell me in the comments below, do you think Mass Effect and Dragon Age internally have been sort of shadow delayed? Do you think they'll release in 2025, 2026? Or do you think we'll get them a lot sooner? Tell me in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and for more Mass Effect and Dragon Age content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, goodbye.